So we're winching that out. That thing got destroyed. Hey, what's up guys? See you boys. Finally 2K7 and we are back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 real life mod video and today is Friday so you guys know we're already super hyped. Today is Friday. The weekend is almost here. Hope you guys are excited and having a great day and I thank you guys for checking out today's video. Now, if you saw yesterday's video, you guys saw we were playing as the Los Angeles Fire Department and we responded to a crazy scaffolding collapse at a construction site. Well, make sure you guys check that out, that video out. We had to rescue and save a lot of different people and a bunch of cars actually got smashed up when the scaffolding collapsed and you guys were saying I should tow it with Ace Towing. So that's what we're going to do today guys. So as you can see we're starting out today's episode here at our city location for Ace Towing. We haven't been here in forever. We've been doing so much work up in the county but we're today we're out in the city and we're going to go ahead and respond to this call. Now I was thinking about switching it up. I already dispatched a couple of tow trucks um, out there to start working but there's a... <sighs> I should have known that 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 step right there is a real doozy But yeah, I already dispatched a couple of trucks out as you can see none of the light duties are out I sent them all out to the call, but I figured we might as well use one of our new trucks So we have the 2020 GMC Denali HD and you guys probably saw this We had a yellow one for our construction shop I actually picked up a couple of them We got great deals on them, but we also have this red one for our tow company now I was thinking, since we have a lot of different vehicles to pick up, why not use some trailers to transport the vehicles? I mean, we haven't did that in a little while, so that's what we're going to do today, guys. If you look over there, you can actually see we have a big Tex 40-foot trailer, and we're going to actually hook up to that and transport the vehicles from the crash to back to the shop now we're not going to be able to fit more than two maybe three vehicles on the trailer so we are going to need some help and uh i got some of my guys to help me out guys so we haven't really did anything like this before this should be a lot of fun so we have backup so we got the 2020 gmc denali hd and i forgot to mention this truck if you guys want to get it early you can find it on bad customs patreon page huge shout out to bad customs he did an amazing job on his truck it's looking nice so make sure you guys check it out there um if you want to get it early before it comes out later um next month in december or whatever so anyway let's jump into this so what we're going to do today is actually run Rams, Fords, and GMC slash Chevy today, guys. So we got all of the trucks out, all of the HD trucks. And I figured, you know what, we might as well use all of them in one episode. So we have the, uh, what's that, the 2020 Ford F-350 haul in the car hauler trailer. Then we have the 2019 Ram 3500 haul in a 40-foot trailer. And then my 2020 GMC Denali is going to be hauling another 40-foot trailer. So we should be able to fit at least six vehicles on here. We may be able to squeeze a couple more depending on how uh, well we're able to stack them up. And then the tow trucks will be able to tow out the rest of the vehicles. So let's get going. I'm going to go ahead and grab my trailer. So let's get back to the front of the shop. There's like a lot of texture loss going on right now, but it, it'll clear up once we get out of here. Alright, put that down. Let's back up and attach. Alright, there we go. So let me just wait for my guys to come out and we'll head to the wreck. Looks like we are ready to go. Alright, everybody's moving. We up. So the accident is actually pretty close. Uh, they're not even a mile away, so we should be there in no time.
Do a little bit of first person. You guys have been asking me to do more first person. So can we all catch this light? Oh, no. All right, I'm just going to wait. I'm trying to keep us all together. Yep, everybody's still with us. All right, so we'll just wait for this light. You guys already know, Eight's towing is always on the move. That scared the crap out of me, guys. What the heck? Yo, I swear in GTA 5, man, we are never gonna run out of customers. All right, let me let me call 911 here. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna call 911. They're probably gonna have to send the fire fire department and the police here, but this is. crazy crazy guys <laughs> oh man let me call a shop and let them know we need to pick up two burnt vehicles from the gas station on Calais and Innocent hey here's the fire department coming through so can I get around okay yeah they're good this is crazy like you never know what's gonna happen in this game like did that scare any of you guys in the comment section our EMS is here as well like this literally scared the crap out of like I jumped. I was like, what the heck is that? Alright, firefighters on scene, EMS is on scene. Looks like I got a Weezer News van and what is this? Weezer oh my god, somebody's in there. Oh lord. Alright, let's just step back and let them do what they have to do. That is crazy guys. It's not all All right. Hopefully nothing else crazy like that happens. Oh, oh. Thought we had, thought we were good. I see the ace construction trucks are out as well. Alright, so we're pulling up on scene. Looks like we have two of our tow trucks are here. They still have the whole area shut down. I'm thinking I'm gonna back in. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and just back this thing up. Looks like uh, LAPD is still here as well as the Department of Transportation is here as well. I got the uh, message board truck up. Oh, can't see. Oh. There we go. So yeah, they got the message board up saying wreck ahead, road closed. And that's a really cool mod from PNW Parks fan. So huge shout outs to him. And if you guys want to check out that message board mod, I'll link it down below. You get early access to it down on uh, parksmods.com and I'll link it down below. All right, so let's check this scene out. All 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these ramps down so we can start loading these cars up. Alright, got the ramps down, so let's take a look at this scene. Actually, let me go ahead and put a helmet on first. Alright, let's grab the helmet. Alright, got our helmet on. You guys already know, safety first. Alright, so let's take a look at the scene. Looks like I grab the officer here. How you doing, sir? Are you guys finished with your investigation? Yep. Okay, cool. We're clear to move. Alright, thank you. Get right to work. Alright, so they're done with all of the investigation. It looks like the uh, accident was caused by wind. Um, there's even that piece, too, that's still potentially about to fall, but they were able to secure it. So that's good. So let's just see what we're working with here. So we got some of the guys already here. Dang. This car got mangled up. Alright, so I got one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. These cars are destroyed. Alright, looks like we got nine cars. So let's start pulling them out one by one and loading them up on the trailer. Alright, I think I'm going to use the F350 to pull most of these out. So we will get this gray car out. Not if the uh, the two what are these again? The two big text trailers we have winches on them, so we are able to uh, winch up the vehicles with these. All right, so we'll put that right there, and let's grab this red one since it's right there. We could. Put it on really fast. I think we I should try to get like the smaller stuff though to go into the trailers because then we'll be able to make use of the space a little bit better. It was already hit. Alright, we'll put this down right here. And let's see if we can winch out some of these other vehicles. This taxi should be an easy grab. We gotta move these pipes out the way. Some of these we're probably gonna have to winch out too, like those cars that are pinned under the scaffolding. Those we may have to winch out.
This is like a freaking obstacle course we're trying to get through. <laughs> I wonder if I could use our toe arm to kind of push some of this stuff out the way. Actually, no, we can. It doesn't have a collision. Alright, so this one right here, we're going to try to winch it out. And that out, that thing got destroyed. Dang. Look how much damage this thing took. That's crazy. Alright, so we got it winched out. We go ahead and connect it to the truck and we'll tow it over to the other side. like that. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you guys. This is also part of the same mod that comes with the truck and the message board. You also get a um, trailer as well. So the trailer also has the same customizable messages. You can put up different messages. And as you can see, road closed because we have a crazy record. All right, so once I get all of these vehicles out, we'll work on getting them loaded up. And we also use a Peterbilt to grab some of these too. Let's actually, let's switch to the Peterbilt. It's going to be a little bit harder though because it's not much space to work with over there. But we'll, we'll see what we could do. I probably should have used this one first to pull out the easier ones. This is crazy. <laughs> we may have to get Ace Construction out here to clean this up. Again, this this was not Ace Construction fault. This is actually a different company called STD Contractors. You can see their name right on the wall. So Ace Construction was not responsible, but we may have to get them to clean this up though. We'll see how it goes. I should have brought it like a forklift or a skid steer to try to help me out with this. Right, let's pull this SUV out with this. You know what? I'm not going to bother because the SUV I can get from the other side. So. Let's use this. Let's do this white car instead. Pulling this one out now. Alright guys, so I couldn't load this thing for some reason, so we're just going to drive it up onto the ramp. Uh oh. It's a little too low though. So I gotta spin it around. But yeah, when I tried to load it like the normal way, like how it's telling me now, it just kept glitching out and I don't know, I had to respawn the car and the truck. All 
Alright, that was like the hardest thing right there, but we worked through it and we got it done. Alright, perfect. So we'll get that back up and we'll probably drag another car out as well. Put something on the tow bar. Maybe that, uh, is that a Corolla or a Camry back there? Alright, perfect. Her <laughs> just appeared out of nowhere. Since this is front wheel drive, ideally we want to throw, tow it from the front. Alright, perfect. So that's ready. So we got two cars on here. We got a couple more cars to pull out. And then we can start loading them all up onto the different trailers we have. So I'm going to jump back into the F350s just because it's a lot more maneuverable. So let's see, we have two cars ready. Three, four, five, six, seven. Watch out, officer. All right, so we still have, I think, just two more cars. Are we done? I'm like, where's that card again? I know it's going to pop up. Wait, what happened to my truck? I had to respawn my truck and trailer. I just realized it disappeared. Alright, last one. And we are done. So this one right here, we're going to also try to just winch it out. Alright, so I got that connected. And let's just see if we can just pull it straight out of there. in a truck. Uh, 
All right, guys. So we got all of the vehicles out. My workers already straightened them up. So now we're just gonna go ahead and start loading them onto the trailers. So now we can just start winching them all up onto the trailers and we'll get them all loaded up. Alright, so we got the winch hooked up. Let's see if we can pull this thing up now. Up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> it's coming. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. But yeah, it's definitely coming up. Perfect. Take a look at that, guys. Alright, we just gotta get it the rest of the way down and then we can get the next one up. Alright, winching it the rest of the way forward. And it should be good right about there. Alright, so we got that chain down and let's see if we get at least at least one more vehicle on here. I think I could get three on my trailer. I'm gonna try it out. So we're gonna winch up one more. Alright guys, so we got this chain down, we ran the winch line underneath this uh, baller here, so now we're going to go ahead and pull up this Taurus. Alright, that should be good right there. So I have my guys get this chain down, locked down, and we'll work on the other one now. Alright, so he's getting all of this chain down. Let's get this one up now. Alright, got the next one coming up. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze all three guys. It's going to be really tight. Yeah, if we had like one more compact car here, maybe... But yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to fit. But it's okay because we have... Yeah, it's fine. Let me see. Got one, two, three. Yeah, it's fine because we put two cars on that. And I will put one car in this and it will work out like that. So everything's good. So we'll get this one chained down and get the ramps up. And then last thing we got to load is that one over there. So I was able to fit it. I wish I could make the ramps not go all the way down like that. Like, we could just, like, make it just stand up. It would kind of be a little bit realistic because, obviously, the ramps would be glitching through. But it, it did fit. It definitely did fit. But, like I said, the ramps kind of glitched through it at the end. But it's okay. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Three vehicles on the Big Tex 40 trailer. All right, so three on there, two on there. And we just got two more. And I guess we'll load them both up onto here. All right, got the taxi coming up now. All right, last one's coming up. Looks like we are good guys, so we'll get this last one chained up and we'll get out of there. We are finally done. 
that took a little while but the job is done so that's all that matters so we don't need the f-350 i'm going to send it out on another call uh, we have these two loaded up with the f-350 the other f-350 we have these two loaded up with the ram 3500 and then we have my truck the gmc uh, 3500 and that one is loaded up with these three as well as the Peterbilt flatbed it's gonna be hauling two back to the shop so let's get going guys and let's get out of here The hatcher got a little messed up with this one. We're gonna have to get that fixed. All right, guys, so we made it back to the shop, and that is going to do it for today's episode. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Got all of the vehicles recovered, and we got them all back to the shop. And it kind of worked out well this way because we got to use the pickup trucks. We got to use the trailers. And honestly, I think it was kind of easier because we would have needed a lot of tow trucks to tow all of these. And we were able to do it with probably half the amount of vehicles so I, I think it was worth it. Let me know in the comments section. Also, let me know what is your favorite truck out of all of the trucks we used today. So again, we had the 2020 Ford F-350. We had the 2019 Ram 3500. And then we had the GMC 3500 as well, the 2020 GMC. So let me know which one was your favorite. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and have a great weekend. Um, I'm going to try to do a live stream later today as well, so look out for that, and I'll also be live streaming on Saturday as well. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget, hit the like button if you did. Leave some comments down below. If you're new, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Also, check me out not only on YouTube, but also on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all AcePilot2K7. I also have my Twitter link down below as well. And huge thank you to all the modder the modders who make all of these awesome vehicles for us to use in game two. And if you guys want to try them, I'll link them all down below in the video description. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.